Today, I'm going to be showing you how I took a solo cleric from rags to riches, from having absolutely nothing to gaining all of that sweet, sweet loot, and showing you how to absolutely clobber people in the dungeon. If you want me to make a video like this for another class or a general tip guide, let me know down below. To start things off, I'm taking the perk Blunt Weapon Mastery, which gives you free bonus damage as a cleric. I would take Undead Slaying, but with the new Goblin Cave, there's very few undead, and for PvP, this perk's just better. For my first skill, I'm taking Judgment. That's the ability that lets me smite players and crumple them onto the floor. My second ability is my Spellbook, which lets you take up to five spells based on cost. Running solo, I take Lesser Heal for self-healing, Sanctuary for more healing, but it's slower, Bless for extra strength, agility, and will for 30 seconds, Divine Strike for extra damage in PvP, and protection for up to five free shield potions each round. For PvP as a cleric, you mainly just want to bonk enemies in the head and use judgment whenever it's off cooldown. Here, a bat hit me from behind, so I casted Bless and bonked him and the mummy on the head. I got a little bit of money and a free lockpick. From there, I headed to the room on the left, and I knew three mummies would spawn in here, so I threw down a torch for light. And if you notice, the mummies kind of smack each other here, and they can do damage to each other. That, and I cleave them by hitting multiple mummies with my mace at once. After getting some gems off the mummies, I tried to pick the lock and failed. Damn. I went around smashing pots and killing some more mummies until my inventory looked like one of the Rothschilds. And I found some really good boots on a goblin right off the bat. Green boots with armor pen. So that was a big bonus for me. I also found a leather cap right after in a chest. After some more pot smashing and goblet collecting, I heard what sounded like a ranger shooting a spider through the door, so I started to buff up. That's a player. As a cleric, you should always buff before a fight, and I like to do bless then protection so that the cooldowns last longer. It turned out there was actually two rangers fighting in here. Following the sound of their arrows, I found one, used judgment immediately for the early damage, but it turned out he was already weak and it killed him instantly. I see the other ranger there, so I quickly loot while dodging using the bridge to block and get back inside the circle. At this point, the circle was shrinking and the escape portal below me got stolen. As I turned around to look for another one, this random ranger came running in, naked, and got two tapped by my mace. She also had a lot of loot on her, which was nice. Unfortunately, right as I was about to get out on my first run, the storm closed all the way and my character withered away. My first run went really well, but I gained nothing. Round two, it's back to bonking barrels, and I find some reinforced gloves right off the bat. Next, I had to fight some goblins, and little tip for new players here. If you're fighting next to a spike trap, it's good to throw down a torch on top of it or near it so you can actually see what you're doing. Just don't pay attention to the fact that I still stepped on it anyways. Also, when it comes to groups of enemies, I like to take out the archers first. I think their arrows are super annoying and taking them out makes the fight a lot easier. Here I choked against a Mimic and almost died, but I thought this would be a good example to show you why Sanctuary is such a good second healing spell to take. It heals so much, especially when combined with Advanced Healer later on. It can almost get you back up to full health. My second run was not clean by any means, as you can see by my HP, but I did manage to kill one Barbarian right at the end with a Swift bonk to the head. Looting her, I found some green items I could sell, along with a helmet, boots, and some weapons to stash away. I had one goblin left to deal with, so I cast protection just in case, and after I killed it, I was able to get away with a super good haul. After selling everything to the collector, I managed to make my first hundred gold and get some backup weapons. The first thing I bought was two spellbooks from the alchemist. It might be placebo, but it feels like spellbooks are faster. You also have less chance of bonking your staff against a wall or the ceiling and interrupting your own cast. I also bought some green templar armor just to upgrade my chest piece for the next run. If you're taking in slightly more valuable loot, it might also be a good idea to buy some protection and health potions. They can save your life in a pinch. My third round started off in the bat room where I was hoping to find a pendant, which I didn't get. I did end up finding some heavy leather leggings, which were better, and two oil lanterns, which both sell for 23 gold, so that's like an easy 50 gold. And in this mimic I killed, I found a green Zweihander, which obviously I can't use, but green and blue items I like to take with the right attributes, 
you can sell them for sometimes up to two or three hundred gold in the trade market. Up here I heard another player running around so I buffed up preemptively and found a wizard without a shirt. <laughs> Like all my fights, I cast Judgment first to get him low, and then charged at him. I was able to sidestep the magic missile and hit him once in the head, but he ran away pretty quickly. After chasing him through the halls, I managed to corner him and land the finishing blow. Since he was naked, I didn't expect him to have much, but he actually had a lot of gems and a green sword that I could sell on the marketplace. I didn't find much else on this third run, so I decided to cut and run and sell what I had. I ended up netting right around 150 gold. And at this point, I already had three green armor pieces. One with buff duration, one with magic power, and one with attributes. All really good stats for a cleric. On round four, I finally found a better shield than my default buckler. I personally hate the buckler. It's a tiny shield, but it is lighter weight than some of the others, so it's kind of personal preference for what you guys like. Right after, I ran into a viking, and as I was buffing up to go kill him, he just died to floor spikes. <laughs> so that's free loot. He had a few vases and gems, so not much, but to my surprise, he had a random blue warmel with moose feed and armor pen. I knew I was going to get a pretty penny for selling that. I decided to use the warmel for now. And in the next room over, I made a random cleric friend. It's always funny to see how bagging is the universal symbol for peace. Right after though, I got jumped by a barbarian who was apparently a goddamn kung fu master and was able to kill me. Also tanked three hits from the blue war mall, which really surprised me. So I lost all that gear. On the right side, I was now level five, so I could put on perseverance and take a little bit less damage from everything. Level 5 also meant I could buy my way into the trade guild. Having just died, I went in with default gear, and I ran into a super stacked warrior. Now I 100% should have lost this fight, but I started with judgment, and then it was just back and forth swings for a while. I hit him in the head once, he used his heal already, and he got a really good hit on me there. And sometimes with these fights it's just about patience, back and forth, back and forth. I got a heal in and knew he'd try to pull his bow, so I went to block. Luckily, he only hit me in the leg, so it didn't do much. I got another free hit in on him there. And I barely managed to avoid death right there. After one more hit, I beat him somehow. I mean, I should have died. But the loot I got, some really good plate boots, plate gloves, and a whole bunch of money. After recovering all I'd lost from the last death, the only thing on my mind was escape. I made a juicy 150 gold and was feeling pretty good about myself. The next round was pretty slow until I started getting beat up by a death beetle and goblin for no reason. I would have been embarrassed if I died to this. I healed up with sanctuary and then literally got jump scared by a warrior out of nowhere. Dude was coming at me and he hurt a lot. I knew I needed to go heal and buff up before even attempting to fight this guy. Luckily, another player came out of nowhere and started fighting him to the death. The other player obviously died, but I had my opportunity. I jumped down and used judgment and started chasing him. He went to heal, so I knew he was low, so I went to heal as well. A few buffs and health potions later, I was back into it, and this guy was fighting another player. I snuck up on him from behind this time and managed to get three hits and a judgment off, but that just goes to show that he was super strong compared to me, because he tanked all of it. At this point, I knew he was one or two shots away from death, and after a whole lot of back and forth, I managed to land a final blow to his head Yippee! and loot. I was super cautious of the other players jumping down on me though, but this guy had blue everything. Green, blue armor, blue longsword, it was such a good fight to win. At this point, I just wanted to leave, but there were two other players in the room, and it turned out they were friendly. Kind of. Back up, motherfucker. Me and him will both take you out. Okay. Nice. As I said, a little bagging here and there goes a long way to make peace, and I did not want to take a two-on-one, so I found an exit portal and got out with some delicious blue loot. At this point, it was time to sell, and I struck up a deal on the fine cuirass for 150 gold. 
I also finally managed to sell the longsword for another 100 gold, putting me at a grand total of 450. On my next run, I managed to find a nice blue ring with two will and plus one all attributes, which is really good for a cleric. Will gives you more magic damage, and attributes are just better stats overall. It wasn't until later on that I encountered Yogurt Slinger 96. I found him fighting a rogue, this guy from earlier. Now, Yogurt Slinger, he almost killed me with his spear. Spears are terrifying to me. But thank god I buffed up beforehand because my Morningstar plus Divine Strike did a lot of damage to his skull. While I was healing up, that dirty ass rogue from earlier came and stole all the loot off of him, so I tried to chase him down, but rogues are slippery and he got away. There was still a lot of gems and treasure left behind, and a regular Templar chest piece for me to put on, which was better than my current chest. He also had some green gloves and boots, so I ended up taking those too. After looting another body, I escaped through the stairway, which not a lot of people know about. That stairway that's open is an exit in the goblin caves. Now that I had a fair amount of money, I decided it was time to do some shopping. I settled on a purple mace for 200 gold. This mace had 44 weapon damage, magical bonus, agility, and buff duration. All good perks for a cleric. I also decided to buy a blue kettle hat for 150 with magic and more magic, making my judgment really powerful. I decided to go on one more run with my new gear, and killed an unfortunate wizard I had heard running through the halls being chased by a goblin. I also stumbled upon a random warrior, or maybe a ranger, but this is a good demonstration of how much magic damage Judgment can do once you start stacking some magic. And the player had a nice amount of money for me to take. After that fight, another cleric walked up on me, but it turned out he was pretty friendly, so I decided to just let him be. He followed me around, and then even gave me some golden items right before I left the dungeon. Astorias, if you ever see this video, I'll never forget you. And that's about it. At this point, my cleric was level 10, so I put on advanced healer, and I was wearing entirely green, blue, and even purple items at this point, with a nice stockpile of gold and more items to come. I've never done a video like this before, so if you enjoyed this style of commentary and you want more dark and darker gameplay, let me know down below. It was a lot of fun to make, and honestly, I'm terminally addicted to this game. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.